Kilns and dryers are the largest moving pieces of equipment in industry. They remove moisture from minerals or ores and chemically process materials at high temperatures. Kilns and dryers are long, slightly inclined steel cylinders that rotate about their long axis. They're supported by a few thick tires that encircle the steel shell and each rides on a pair of trunnion rollers. Material enters at the inlet and progresses by gravity toward the discharge. Rotation speed varies from a slow creep to three or more revolutions per minute. Rotary screens and trommels segregate material by size or type. They're nearly horizontal and rotate continuously. They can process materials in a dry state, but often screen wet materials such as mineral sands or sand and gravel. They are essentially drums with sieve or screen openings in their periphery. Kilns, dryers, rotary screens, and trommels are all similarly shaped, equipped with circumferential riding rings, and supported on trunnion rollers, so they all have similar hazards. These rotating shells and drums are irregularly shaped and often have protruding thermocouples or bolts that can strike or entangle miners. They're built so there are close clearances between the shell's outside surface and the inside surface of the inlet and outlet hoods into which they're inserted. Two hazards exist here. They are pinch points for hands and fingers and areas where hot material or gases can spill or blow out should equipment become pressurized inside. Spring or graphite block seals prevent entry of cold air and double as guards. If a risk analysis discovers environmental conditions near the inlet or outlet could possibly injure miners, shields should be erected along travelways or miners should be completely restricted from the area during operation. In running nip points exist where the tires contact the trunnion rolls. Tremendous crushing force concentrates here because the rolls support all the weight of the equipment. Kiln thrust rollers resist lateral movement. They also have an in-running nip, but it is behind the thrust roller next to the tire and hard to see. Depending on how the equipment is arranged, the nip point may or may not be accessible. Only a risk assessment can tell for sure. Miners attending kilns and dryers perform periodic inspections. Where attendance duties can bring them into close proximity to in-running nip points, they need protection from these hazards. Point of contact guards at the in-running nips will prevent access from either the face of the tire or from its sides. Some manufacturers and operators make the guards adjustable to facilitate fit and maximize protection. Bars or railings placed in front of the nip point may restrict approach, but they're not recognizable as guards, are easily defeated, and don't secure the area from entry. Trommel manufacturers usually install tall sided end shields that completely enclose the rotating drum and support rollers. These area guards keep miners away from the tire trunnion nip points and drive mechanisms. If such shields are not provided, or if miners access the area between the shield and the moving parts, point of contact guards would provide a positive means of guarding the nip points. Some installations have walkways along the tops of the shields to facilitate maintenance, inspection, service, or cleaning. Close clearances or pinch points may exist between the edge of the platforms and the rotating screen frame, so access should be effectively blocked during operation. One way to do this is to construct a locked entry or an otherwise secure area guard that prevents personnel from gaining access to the platform. Kilns and dryers are rotated using girth gear drives. Some gears mesh with a motor-driven pinion gear, while others are connected to a motor-driven sprocket by a roller chain. Trommels are rotated by a similar gear and pinion, or by friction between the riding rings and one or more motor-driven trunnion rollers. Gear reducers with large shafts and couplings are usually located between the motor and the rotating equipment to adjust rotational speed and increase torque. Some kilns and dryers have auxiliary drives such as gasoline or diesel engines equipped with hand-operated clutches. Whenever work activities may present moving machine hazards to miners, a hazard analysis should be performed to determine if and where guards are needed to reduce the risk of injury.